Hello guys, welcome to Beer Tour in Seoul. This is Jonathan here again. Uh, today I brought another Korean craft beer called Jeju Slice by Jeju Beer Brewing Company. Jeju is well known for having their own tangerine or the orange. They're very really popular within Korea. Jeju is near the sea and they're well known for uh, Korean sashimi. I mean, there's a fish, a lot of fish foods, seafoods, I mean. This time the Jeju Beer Company has came up with with, uh, another type of ale basically known as for beer that has a flavors from the tropical fruits but they specifically focused on the passion fruits so let's take a look it has an alcohol of 4.1 percent uh, it doesn't say on the label but the IBU around 7.5 which is fairly bitter why won't we just take a look at the label here um, as, as you can see obviously the passion fruit pictures are all around it I love the purple color it's very eye-catching it's one of the uh, not too complex design that I've seen so far in Korean craft beer label designs so let's take a look inside there is a tropical fruit scent with a little bit of bitterness on top of the liquid. And as you can see, the color of the liquid is bright gold, almost close to yellow. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I just nipped it inside the okay. Ooh. There are a lot of crab beers out there. Um, there is ale, there's a roots that goes from the lager style, dark beer styles. But if you're really into those ale, you know, those tropical fruits, and if, if, you're, if you're targeting those beer and you are definitely a fan of those craft beer, the ale styles, um, the first thing that I realized when I took a sip, a start, I think the first taste was that full rich passion fruits, tropical fruit genius that comes in first and then at the end taste that sourness and the bitterness from the passion fruit is so emphasized that from the beginning till the end you will as a person who loves the ale style I think this is one unique uh, style that the Teju Beer Company has made and this is very interesting you get to enjoy that full tropical fruit and the towards the end that passion fruit sourness and a little bit of a bitterness it's, it's delicious it's light bodied um, I love the fact that I can sense that acid well I don't want to say acid but you know those bitterness but especially that sourness uh, is the the unique distinctive flavor from the passion fruit that you can you taste and I love how they brought the passion fruits flavors so well and it is all balanced with the malts and everything else that they've used to brew this beer so if we want to define what exactly the ale style in craft beer scenarios are that they use the warm fermentation so kind of low temperature for the yeast to work other than the fermentation to give that sweetness sourness and tropical flavors you know those fruity tastes fruity flavor full bodied but historically uh the ale the ale refers to beer that was brewed without hops so in the back in the days, they used that bittering agent to give that kind of balance the malts and act as a preservative. So instead of hop, they used something called groot. So bittering agent, the groot was mainly used to brew an ale style of craft beer. But nowadays they use hop. Uh, well, to narrow it down in the easy way of understanding why they stopped using groot was that hops became cheap. Uh, now that they are available in hop pallets, pallets make it so much easier for brewers to brew uh, just basically any type of craft beers. Soury taste at the end and the full rich fruit flavors are amazing. Uh, I think I love this beer, really. Personally like this too. Mm. So out of five, I would give about around um, 4.2 out of 5 because this is uh, one of the uh, Jeju Beer company that has made and it's one of the uh, characters that they stand out amongst the all the creations that they made like the details or Jeju Pelong for example all those lines they did work well their effort they put their effort to make those creations which which is really they, they are also a great beer however 
Uh, one thing that I realized before this was that um, they lack that distinctive characteristic from amongst the, the creation. So if you are brewing and you're, you stand for something, you alone as a company in the beer market, what, they, what you want to do is of course you make, you make something, some creation that stands out amongst the uh, craft beer scenarios. But uh, so far, they just kind of blended in. Um, almost harsh to say, but no different than other craft beers. However, this uh, the Jeju Slice, uh, which they focused on the passion fruits alone, which is really, really, really uh, identity giving that something that stands out amongst the rest that are available in Korean craft beer. And especially for those large group of ale fans. Those who are looking for those tropical flavors in a beer and that sourness from the uh, specific tropical beer that you think of. This is actually one of the enjoyable things to find in Korea, especially if you're those fans for the ale beers. And I personally love the taste because you get to taste that richness of the fruity taste in the beginning. And towards the end, you get to taste that grapefruit sourness and a little bit of bitterness. They focus on the passion fruit, so they did well job on just uh, bringing out that one specific flavor among the tropical fruits. And they did also say that they put a passion fruit puree. Uh, purees are supposed to, if you imagine on the top of your head, uh, purees, so something that would give a kind of, you know, sticking, sticky, thick, sticky characteristic. However, it doesn't feel that they put a puree at all, but which is fine. Um, I think this alone here, they don't have to mention that they put puree because it's so well made. Amazing. Well done, Jeju Beer Company. Thank you very much, guys, for watching my video again. Beer tour in Seoul. Always have plenty of Korean beer to go to make an introduction videos to you. This is Jonathan. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and I will come back with a whole lot of interesting Korean craft beers that are plenty, plenty more to go. Thank you. Bye.